can go directly backstage and prepare for the show, or you can go to our Create Your Family selection. There we go. Welcome to... Ah. <laughs> Welcome to... Ah. <laughs> New one. Well, we're going to make you say ah five times fast. No. No. Welcome to Skype Saturday. We got fun games. And if I was you, I would sue the nurse for malpractising. Yes. I like somebody else's ass. I like to chew on. I'm not gonna say their name on camera. That's how fucking pissed I am right now. Alright. In fact, folks, so by the sound of my voice, don't ever live in Meigs County, Ohio. It is the worst fucking county on this planet, full of druggies potheads, and fucking morons. Everybody in this county is a moron. And... Start the game, please, man. Alright. Well, I got you, I got Tanker. Call him Team Viewer. Stay. You need to pick a family. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, I can't blame it because I've been sick three times this year alone. They describe themselves. They join us from Michigan. Give them a hand, family number one. Excited and crafty is how they describe themselves. They join us from Illinois. Give them a hand, family number two. Let's get started. We are now on game 50 with 266,228. Here we go. There ain't 100 people. Top, Top six. six answers up on the board. Here we go. Everybody ready? Name something every adolescent wants one of for his or... Okay, family number one. I knew you guys the same. Gee, then you got the same exact one. Um, this one just loves to repeat. Hi, welcome to the Family Feud. You can go directly backstage. Back. You need to pick a family.
there, exquisite, and exquisite. right. And hail from Montana. Give a big welcome exquisite. to family number one. Never heard that in a while. They're from Vermont. And they describe themselves as ambitious, but mostly boys. Give boys. it up for family yeah. number two. What kind of voice do they got? <laughs> Our two families will be doing battle for big bucks on the family feud. Here he is. I don't ask yourself that crafty folks. Louie <laughs> Anderson. Yeah. Welcome to the feud. We've got a great game lined up for you. Let's get started. A hundred people surveyed. We've got their top five answers up there. Good luck. Thank you. Ready? Yeah. Name something people fantasize about. What do you think it is, family number one? How about we get in there, question? I still can't... Well, I messed up on my own blinds. Hi. Well, Baxter, you need to pick a family. They're from British Columbia, and they describe themselves as dumb, but mostly dumb. gratuitous. Give it up for dumb. number one. Uh, correction, we're not dumb. They're from we're smart. Nebraska, and they describe themselves as discerning and laid back. Let's hear it for them. Family number two. Welcome to the feud. We've got a great game lined That's up for you. That's what I just said. Incorrect, so we're not dumb. Nice. Hope I didn't say that one, though, baby. Okay, baby. A hundred people survey. We've got their top five answers up there. Good luck. Everybody ready? Name an occupation in which it would help to be long-winded. Family number one. I say a doctor. Is it there? Show us. Too bad. Family number two, you get a chance. Your answer, family number two. Oxener. You never know what's going to be up there. Survey says. Do I hear me? Hear me? If a hundred dollars, hundred dollars, hundred dollars, two hundred, two hundred. That goes really fast. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> That's one. What will it be? Play or pass? Pass? All right then. Family number three. Family number three. Family number three. Family number three. Family 
Um. Name an occupation in which it would help to be long-winded. I'm gonna say a lawyer. I hope it's up there for you. Oh. Yeah. Ah, strike one, sorry. It's the oh. worst, worst Christmas I had. Next family member, what do you say? Uh, talk about that one, I had the worst Christmas of 2012. Name an occupation in which it would help to be long-winded. Uh, teacher. I hope it's up there for you. This is the worst Christmas present you could ever receive. Uh, oh well. Knowing the fact that uh -oh. once your beloved That's family right, member two. died three days before Christmas. Uh, Family number two, one more strike, and you get a chance to and steal. And finding that. Another player, okay. Got an Ramon got it. sick on Christmas Eve. Name an occupation in which it would help to be long-winded. Politician. Is it there? Show us. What? Politician. Number one. Cool. Our top answer. Way to go. Next family member. What do you say? Name an occupation in which it would help to be long-winded. Firefighter. I don't know, but that's... Is it there? I guess. Gee. Oh, no one. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. It's your turn. Next player, what's your guess? Name an occupation in which it would help to be long-winded. Concept flute is. All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. Molly drew the first blood. Right, family number one, you got the points. What was two? Let's see what was the second most popular answer. What was in third Salesperson, place? three. And to finish the Minister, board. five. Athlete. That takes us to the end of this round. Let's check the scoreboard. Family number one, you are off to a great start. Well, let's see how round two is going to play out. Let's go. It's time for round two. Remember to leave family. Let's go. We surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are up on the board. Here we go. You ready to do this? Name a common and false stereotype that people have about librarians. 
Family number one. Half glasses, no? How about quiet? Show me that end. Jeez. No, it's not up there. Over to family number two. Oh, name something that. Bang and shook the Your window. answer, family number two. Smart. I hope it's up there for you. Absolutely. Play or pass? What do you want to do? Pass? All right then. Good boy. Well, it's just not. It's up there. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? No, uh, I think it's time to go dirty on this. Name a common and false stereotype that people have about librarians. Big boobs. Wow! Is it there? Let's see. Who is up there? Oh. It's not up there. Strike number one. Oh. Holy Another player, shit. okay. Got an answer for it? Okay. Now that. Never mind. I don't want to finish that. Stereotype that people have about librarians. It's small. They're old. There we go. All right. Show me that end. Good one, but it's not up there. Oh, I'm sorry. Strike number two. Now, now they have big boobs and they're old. One more strike, and you're up, family number two. <laughs> Next player. Okay, uh, I could have resisted that one. Smart. Name a common and false stereotype that people have about librarians. Well, since they don't have big boobs, are they sexy? You never know what's going to be up there. <laughs> Seven. How long we had that question? Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. I'll be right back. Alright. What will it be? Next family member. What do you say? Yeah, Name a common and false stereotype that people have Me. about librarians. I hope it's up there for you. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. Yes, family number one gets the points. What was the top answer? What was our most popular answer? Let's see what was oh, the most popular answer. Let's see what was in four. Bowling doll. And lastly, Liz glasses. Food. Brings us to the end of round two. Let's look at the scores. Yeah, 47, 9, 56. To El Zippo. Family number one, you're playing great. Okay, it's round three. Let's go. Another player from each family. Surveyed a hundred people, top six answers up on the board. Here we go. 
You ready to do this? Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. What do you think it is, family number one? How about claims? Okay, show me the answer. Well, there you go. Yes. Yeah. Play or pass. You got it. Our number one answer. Yay. What do you get? We'll play. We'll play. Let's go. Name something suspect that they did to death to your teeth. Another player. Okay. Number one. Can you answer for us? Uh, Holmes up. Ooh. Name something suspect. Oh, remind me about that, that story. I've been there too before, man. No fun. Ugh. I wanna see that. That answer. sound of it is funny in my dreams. Cool. And that's the bottom of the survey. Absolutely. One three. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? And we're leading fifty six to nothing. Exam them. Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. I want to see that answer. Uh, <laughs> ah, strike one, sorry. <sighs> oh. Next family member, what do you say? Fails them. Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. You never know what's going to be up there. Says. And to everyone's expense of having your teeth filled. All right. Been there. Done that. Absolutely. Done that. And they actually numb your lap and turn your lap. Another player! <laughs> you need another answer. Yeah, we're going to start looking like a chipmunk. Name yeah, something specific no that a dentist does to your teeth. And I, have, and I had to play hooky because my face was looking like a, a chipmunk. Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. I'm going to do this. Drill them. Is it there? Let's see. Number two. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Four and five is left. Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. Yank is the same thing as pollen. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's the same thing. Flosses? Flosses your teeth, that's right. Alright, show me that answer. Well, this goes to check it, they do. Flosses your teeth! Sure. Yeah, how about that? Exactly. But there's number four left. Well, you missed it. We did have one. I was in the shower. It's all right. 
Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. How about brushes? Is it there? Show us! Ah, oh, don't look at Clean floss, drills, poles. I thought it would be there. Sorry, that's two strikes. Bells. Drills. Next and that's number five to go. And you're up. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Brushes. Tried it. Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. Examines drilling, but it's not up there. This is terrific. I'm gonna. I did a while ago, guess was where I first did this. And... Lines, how about this? All right, show me that end. Ah, please, floss and drills, pulls, fills. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top six. What was the number four? And if they don't get it, it will be left for us to win. And we're about to see another what's player. number four. We need another answer. Just put it out of our mysteries. Name something specific that a dentist does to your teeth. Remove all the yellow smoke stain. I want to see that answer. Jeez. Good answer, but it's not there, sorry. We got the points. Yes, family number one gets the points. What was the fourth most popular answer? X-ray set. Let's check out how both families are doing after this round. Will that be the same as examine them? Both families are playing well. In round four, points are tripled, but you only get one strike. Then the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. I need two more players up here. Let's go. hundred people surveyed. We got the top four answers. You just got to give them to us. You ready to do this? Name a good luck charm. Wabbits. Family number one. No. Horseshoe. See if it's up there. No, it's number three. Yeah. Good answer. But there's a couple that can beat it. So let's see what our next family says. Your answer, family number two. Number seven. I hope it's up there for you. But it wasn't in our top four. We We're gonna pass. All right then. Next family <laughs> Name a good luck charm. Tiger's tooth. 
what's up there for you. Oh, strike one. Sorry. Next family. You can steal. Next family. What will it be? Next family member. What do you say? Name a good luck charm. A penny. Said. Well, off the fast money. Sure. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> now he said it. No, it got half. What was the top answer? What was our most popular answer? Let's see what was Paul the most clover. Answer. Rabbit's foot! I was literally going to cut that! Let's check the scoreboard. It went down to a horseshoe. Oh well, still we won. Oh, hey, what a game. Congratulations to both families. But, going on to the fast money round is family number one. Alright, Mikey. You know the drill. Okay. And who's going second? Round. We'll give you five questions. You answer them. Put the time on the clock, please. If you get over 200 points, then you'll win $10,000. All right. I need two players from your family. No. Hang on a second. Five questions. Good luck. The clock starts when I finish reading the first question. Here we go. Name a cookie kid wall. Chocolate chip. Wow, that was fast. Tell me the hour when restaurants stop serving. Uh, ten, ten. 10 p.m. Yeah. 10, okay. It means something you often ask a waiter for more of. Uh, drink. That's three. In the roadside business, which caters to travel? Uh, fruit, fruit stand. Uh oh, don't cross an alert. Here it comes. What's the question? When kids play pretend, name a field called they pretend to be. Oh my god, uh. Uh, J. York's Koopa. <laughs> you that back and it's two yeah tell me the hour when restaurants stop serving ten that's just the number one drink something you often ask a waiter for more of drink oh. name a roadside business which caters to travelers Fruit stand. Only nine. When kids play pretend, name a vehicle they pretend to be. J.O. Koopa. Oh. 
Let's get to the zippity doo da. What? We have our second one. One forty three. Try to give the most popular answers. If you don't know it, pass, and I'll get back to it if there's time. Good luck. Name a cookie, kids, ball. Sugar. Tell me the hour when restaurants stop serving. Nine. Name something you often ask a waiter for more of. Food. Name a roadside business which caters to travelers. Gas station. When kids play pretend, name a vehicle they pretend to be. Oh my god. I was checking the NASCAR. Name a cookie, kids walk. Nice calm, yeah. So guys, so, and then I guess four. Tell me the hour when restaurants stop serving. Nine. Fifteen. Ten is number one. Name something you often ask the waiter for more of. I said food. What? Jeez. Wow. Name a roadside business which caters to travelers. I said gas station. Now I guess I'm 19, so that's going to be $5 a point. When kids play pretend, name a vehicle they pretend to be. I said place car. Of course, that happens to be number one answer. Sorry, that's too bad. But you played a great game and you're our winning family. Six seventy five plus a thousand. Sixteen seventy five. See you next time for another game of Family Feud. Hi, welcome to the Family Feud. You can go to Now that will give us to a 50th game total of 267,903. That's not bad, man. Right. To be honest, that was a hard question about the waiter one. Because you said drink and I said food and they're both good. Evidently. Zero. And what choices of drinks you got in a restaurant? Well, you got soda, water, wine, Mr. Pep, Coke, Pepsi. Wine, water. Well, actually, not, well, most restaurants actually serve you beer. And you'd be Hooters contact girls. drunk. Who are those girls? <laughs> Who are those girls? Alright. And you got like numerous of stuff. <laughs> Name a call you pretend to be J Ox Cooper. Uh, you know what, here. Oh, hello, people. Yeah, hello. Welcome to Family Fear as we're making fun of each other. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey. Right, well, that's it for our fiftieth game one of Family Feud. I will. I would. Duh, I would. I would. <laughs> I can't even speak today. Yeah, I know you can. Not even having so much talk about some of that money knows. Yeah, I'm just. I. I just. What does. What does Clark 
crap around me, it's hard for me to speak. I know. And I've been getting like watery eyes galore. And I'm, talking, I'm not crying. I'm not crying because I got all the eyes. This allergies is playing up. It's a virus I got. You probably caught mine. Yeah. Dr. Mo's recommend, Wes. My oldest trick in the book water, always juice, chicken noodle soup. If all that doesn't work, then antibiotic for do the trick. Which I should have been got, gotten to on Tuesday. Oh, well. Or Wednesday, whatever the hell I send the doctor. Oh well. Anyway, let's do this again, folks. I would we're like. We're gonna do another game of Family Feud. Maybe. I'm up for it. All depends what we got on today's Skype Saturday schedule. Yeah, here's a day. Here's a day claw I got. Alright. As always, I would like to spank our Skype guests. Uh, spank our Skype guests. I'm at it again. I would like to thank our Skype guests for being a part of it and helping out. We'd like to thank you for watching Family Feud. And of course, we got more videos soon. So have fun. Take care. See you all in the next video.